Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. If you new here, I'm Ryan and I'm writer. Today we're going to continue reading the story of a crazy moment and just remind you it's been written by me. Before that, I'm going to tell you guys um, what happened in our ba- past episode. Uh, I'm going to tell you the basic thing because if I'm going to tell you all the parts, that will take a whole another video. So, basically, um, Liz uh, took Nick, then Liz killed herself. After that, in 10 years, Nick's daughter went to get revenge on Liz's daughter as for Liz. We're going to find out what happened in level 3 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. When her dad left to work, she started thinking level 3 would be burning her house, and that's how she would die. She packed her backpack with matches, paper, and a bottle filled with gasoline, which she bought from Target. And now she goes with her bike at 10.15 and arrived at 10.30. She waited from the backyard of their house, waiting until they leave. She saw, she saw Lily's post saying she's going to Costco after 10 minutes they left and put the keys under the carpet, which was weird. And Betty saw that, so she went really fast, unlocked the door. Well, she wanted them to die in the fire, but her plans changed a little. She unlocked the door and spilled the gasoline, except Lily's room. When she got to Lily's room, she saw pictures of them hung on the walls. She started thinking like she was going to change her mind, but she didn't. She poured gasoline in the room, then went downstairs, got her matches out of the backpack, as, and stood at the top of the door. Then she turned the fire on and threw some papers and wood. She ran to her bike and left. And that was level 3. Pretty strong, right? I mean, at least take their nice things. As always, when she finishes the level, she goes to her room and sleeps. But today is different. She uh, she was hungry, so she made some pasta. She made some for her dad, too. Mr. Bob is really nice. Like, next morning after she did the fire, uh, he had some things he wanted to donate. He had them in a box. After that, he woke up Becky and said, Good morning, sunshine. Come on. I need you to help me donate some items. Becky? Okay, let me just change my clothes and do my hair. Bob, okay, sweetie, just be fast. She did a ponytail with her sh- uh, hair and wore a shirt with a pair of shorts. Becky, Dad, I'm ready. Where are you? Bob, I'm here. Hold this box for me, please. Okay, said Becky. Uh, her dad turned the car on and Becky said... Becky didn't know that to arrive at the donation place, they have to go by Lily's house. She didn't want him to see the fire on fire, the house on fire, or all brown from the fire. And he'll probably go help them. She made sure all their money is in the house. The money they took to use at Costco finished. But there were two paths. They went to the path that isn't by Lily's house. After they donated the things, Bob wanted to go to the path by Lily's house. Becky was surprised that they had got enough water to turn off the fire, but the house was pretty before. But now it just looks like an old cave. Her dad asked, do you know what happened here? It looks different. The answer, oh no, I'm sure they have it all controlled. I've got a lot of stuff to do. Honey, let's just go see what's going on. That second, Becky found a light to say, oh, dad, I just remembered they moved to another neighborhood. Oh, well, we'll see them uh, next time. Anyways, thanks for helping me with the donations. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. I want to ask you a question. Can I go to a wedding with some friends? Okay, sure. Just le- uh, just tell me what, uh, what time you need to be there. Oh, no, it's okay. I can drive there. Okay, as you want. The wedding was that night. So when uh, Becky got to the house, she prepared the dress, which is light pink, short from the back, f- short from the front, and long from the back, and glittery. After that, she did her makeup and wore the dress. The last thing she did is get in the car and start driving. As soon as she walked in the hallway, she saw Lily wearing the same dress and told her friend, What is she doing here? The answer, Who? Lily? She's my cousin. Not even she's there, but wearing the same dress. Light pink, short from the front and long from the back. Plus glittery. When Becky saw Lily, she was surprised and angry. She forgot that there's the bank to get money from. And she couldn't believe they were wearing the same dress. She got really angry, went to the bathroom, washed her face, and went back there. After that, she poured a cup of juice and made her plan, which was to ruin Lily's dress. She walked by Lily, pushed her back as an accident, got the juice all over Lily's dress, and ran before she could even see her. She went with tears home and remembered that her and Lily both liked, liked light pink and started thinking about the pranks she'd been doing to, uh, to Lily and realized it's not Lily's fault. Plus, Lily didn't even know about her mom's sickness. 
She slept and woke up early in the morning and baked some cookies and left a note for her dad that she's going to Lily's house, which is the new house. She left and went to knock on the door and said, Good morning, is Lily here? Oh yeah, she's in her room. I'll lead you to the, her room. I appreciate that, said Becky. Becky, sorry. Um, Lily's dad, you're like a daughter to me. This is her room. Hi, Lily. I'm really sorry for everything. The fire, Zeus, and your dog's sickness were my fault. I'm sorry. Have a seat now. He's okay. I mean, you did a lot of stuff. I didn't even think you would do something like that. But I forgive you. You've been through a lot of stuff. And as much as I liked our friendship, I would love us going back on doing that. And bring back this friendship, please, Lily. I, I would love to bring it back, too. Friends again, said Becky. Becky? Friends again, said Lily. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff going on. An on winter conversation, plus eating cookies. And now you know, any friendship can come back. Just think about what happened and talk it out. And that was a story of a crazy moment. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I would love to repeat myself that I'm really sorry. I keep making mistakes because I get nervous. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed, liked it. And as I said, any friendship can come back, but it really goes at first for whoever because if you guys want to go to the right side first think about what ended really the friendship if it, it was a bad thing don't go to the situation go don't go back to the friendship because there's an advice from me to you guys um if you guys forgive someone that where they did something really bad don't forgive because it will damage your life when you forgive someone and they did a really bad thing because you know you, you really don't want someone to ruin your life and then easily forgive them when they just say the word sorry i mean think about it when you like the word sorry is just one little um sent, uh, one little word it's literally made up of five letters these five letters could damage your life if the situation and the thing that ended the friendship was really bad so yeah, and if you guys want to go to the normal, lively situation, um, you could just forgive them. But as I said, it goes to you if you want to be the good person or if you want to be the good person as well. But you just don't want to ruin yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed, liked it. Bye!